I didn't have any LGBT plus education growing up when I was at school, so it was hard for me to know or have the vocabulary to describe how I felt or what I was. There can always be feelings of shame, of a lack of inclusion, of ignorance. It's a very like personal journey, it's a very vulnerable journey. First realising that I liked girls, because at the time I was presenting as a girl and that's what I was known as. And then later realising, oh it's not just that, I'm also trans, I'm also a man. I realised I was bisexual when I started dating a boy. That was, that was really as simple as it was. I felt like really strong, I want to say like attachments to other girls in my school. Okay, maybe this is a crush. I basically talk to kids in primary and secondary schools about how that journey has affected me as a person and how I've navigated the challenges. My family are Muslim. Unfortunately, they weren't quite so supportive about it. Later, I realised I was trans. I kind of had to do that research myself, but I thought, God, if only I'd had something like that at school, I could have described how I felt and not felt so othered and outcast that whole time because I went through a lot of depression because of that. Particularly coming to terms with even the word lesbian because there's so much um, stigma still to it. There was a culture at school that was pretty homophobic. People would say things like, oh, that's so gay, you know. Sometimes there'd be even more extreme, really, really offensive homophobic language that would be directed at me personally. So much of that was just based in ignorance. These talks are not just for the sake of the kids who are LGBT+, it's so that everybody in the room has the same complete understanding of what it actually means to be a gay person, a trans person, a bi person. We don't want misconceptions. That is where bullying comes from. I've come to terms with my, my sexuality. The best way to, to be able to help people with that is to not rush them, to not sort of dictate what they are, what they aren't, how they should and shouldn't behave. If you don't talk about these issues, you will get LGBT plus people who are filled with shame. So it's really rewarding now to be able to give that education to kids at schools, the education that I wish I'd had.